guys thanks for joining me again back in my living room in my home and I'm here to talk to you about leeches today's topic is a, a bit of variation of different things um, I'm going to talk about how to make a leech throw up the reason you would have a leech throw up is because the leech is already fed and you want to use it again for therapy so you want to have it uh, induce it to vomit um, in order for it to bite again otherwise it's not going to bite for another um, three to six months and then you have to take care of it and look after it and keep up with it which is not very easy I mean it is easy if you know what you're doing but um, Fed leeches are sort of like the red-headed stepchildren of leech therapy. Nobody wants them. And nobody wants to have them. Everyone prefers uh, fed le uh, sorry, uh, hungry leeches. So when you have a fed leech, you sort of don't know what to do with it. And you want to be able to use it again. Um, the best thing to do is either give it to somebody who breeds leeches let it go in the river or in the lake somewhere or as a last resort if you're really 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 in a pinch then you can make it throw up so without further ado I do have one leech that I'm gonna get from uh, my bedroom that's the leech I used for feeding for my demonstration video and this is the wound um, this is about three four days old it's not that bad it's looking good there's no redness anymore so I'm gonna go get that leech and we're gonna together we're gonna try and induce it to throw up So I have a plate, small container, I have my fed leech, and I have some salt. Normally, to induce a leech to throw up, you would use turmeric powder, which is the yellow powder that they use in Indian cooking, and it's used in uh, like Asian it's an Asian spice, um, but uh, I don't use it, so I don't have any. And the only thing I have is just a box of salt. And I know they've thrown up before, um, sort of unintentionally with salt. So I know it's gonna work. Here is my unfed leeches. Those are the hungry ones. They're nice and skinny. They're swimming around. And the other guy is just, he's just hanging around. He's not doing anything when they're fed. They just sort of, they're like couch potatoes. They're the, the leech version of a couch potato. So, let's see how we shall uh, proceed with this task. I take my forceps. I put my little guy on a plate I know he doesn't look very fed but he did feed on my arm so I know he's full and salt can kill the leeches so don't overdo on the salt as soon as you sprinkle him with salt or turmeric powder then you want to uh, wash him out 
In fact, I'm going to go grab some water as well to make sure he's washed after this procedure. So, I've put some warm water in this little container and Hopefully you can see what's going on here. My leech plate, my warm water, and we're going to induce very, um, how should I say, I don't want to do this, I, I'm against doing this. If you have a fed leech, you should either take care of it, let it go free, or give it to your friends who are into leech um, um, leech care or leech breeding. But just for the sake of demonstration and for those of you who want to learn and who want to know what's happening, this is what happens. He's not happy. He's not happy at all. Most leech therapists will kill the leech after they've fed, fed it with blood. And the way I see that what's happening is he, he's dying. I don't want him to die. So I'm just gonna... What they do is they put him in salt and that's how he dies. But I want him to be alive so I just saved him. <laughs> Um, hopefully he'll live through this experience. He doesn't seem to be moving. Yeah. 
Let's see if he's alive. No, he is. He's alive. Okay. At least I feel better now. Well, he didn't throw up. Funny enough. Um, he started to. There's a bit of traces of blood on the plate. Maybe if I would have drowned him in the salt, he would have thrown up. Uh, but I kind of felt sorry for the animal. It was making um, very weird shapes with his body. Um, I didn't want him to suffer. I didn't want to see him like that. And I still don't like the way he looks. So imagine what's happening with you and your body when you ingest salt. Anyway, he looks kind of curly. I don't know where my tonsils are for me to show you. His shape just doesn't look right. He's supposed to be very plump. And he kind of looks exhausted. So, that was my failed uh, attempt to make him throw up with salt, but at least he's still alive. Next time we'll do some turmeric experimentation with regurgitation of leech blood. Stay tuned. If you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe to follow me. I put out new videos every week and they're on different topics. Leeches, health, travel, and various other controversial subjects. We'll see you next week. Bye!